Hey y'all, um, happy St. Patty's Day. So today I wanted to read a book to the children because I know schools are out and so it may be hard to leave the house, get outside, um, visit your local library. So I wanted to bring the books to you. So today I want to read How to Bake a Book by Ella Burfoot. So we might get some good ideas about what to do while we're, while we're stuck inside, okay? So let's get going. How to bake a book. I am going to bake a book. I'll break some ideas into a cup. I'll beat them, whisk them, mix them up. So you see, little girl? She's gonna get some ideas on how to bake a book. Okay. Have you ever baked a book before? I wonder what goes inside of a baked book. I'll weigh out the words just enough. The small ones go into the pot. Choosing the right ones can be tough. So she put some words in this pot. got he and she and it and when and what. I'll drop some big words from way up. Look there's an elephant being dropped in and a crocodile and a buttercup. Now that my story has begun, I'll cut out characters one by one. She's cutting out characters like you would cookies. Have you baked a book like that before? All right. Feelings, colors, sounds, a picture. I'll add flavor to my mixture. And so with right here, she's got peaceful, sunny words, color, noisy, loud words, words of love, giggly word, jelly, zap, and some sad words. I'll add a watery word or two. I'll pour them in and stir them through. Splish, splosh, splash drip or sprinkle. Glug and gurgle, squilch and twinkle. And she's stirring them up in the pot. Now I'll put a lid on it wait a little while and let it sit. So she's gonna wait a little bit. Let's see what happens. It's not until I roll it out that I'll find out what it's all about. She's gonna roll out her mixture. And now I'll lay it in the tin so my characters can all jump in. So remember those characters she cut out earlier from cookie cutters? Well, they're jumping in once you spread it out. Next, the middle, the action, the filling into the pan without any spilling. Now, now all I'll do is simply add a spoonful of good and a pinch of bad. Turn up the heat, the bubbles quicken, and then my plot begins to thicken. That sounds like an interesting mixture for a book. Let's see. So each sentence will taste much better if I add periods and capital letters. I'll find them in a moment. I've seen them myself. Ah, here they are. Big cupboard, top shelf. It's funny how everything always ends up on the top shelf when we can't reach it. 
but she's found her periods in capital letters. Let's see what else is on the shelf. We've got bitter beans and sweet peas, bow tie pasta, applesauce, story pops, porridge oats, and giant turnip slices. I'm glad she didn't put that in her story. Finally, the ending. I'll press it down and add decorations all around. I'll glaze it with happiness, leave it to cook, then bake it, brown it, and finish my book. Let's see if she's finished her book. She baked it, she browned it. Does that look like a book to you? We'll find out. All right, I turned the pages and I can see that my recipe has turned out tasty. I've done everything as the cook. All right, let's see, let's see. To make my story a delicious book. And there's her story, full of all kinds of characters. And she's real proud of her book. And that's the end of that one. So maybe you can make your own book while you're at home. What are some of the things that we talked about that she added to her mixture? She added some action, some happiness, some sadness. She added some characters. And then she added some color and some sparkly words. And she thickened her plot. So she really didn't bake a book, but she compared it to the idea of baking something. So you add all these ingredients, and when you have the final product, that's what you look forward to. So I look forward to hearing about your books, and I hope you'll have a good rest of the day. Happy St. Patty's Day.